Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From Divine Tarot. If the reading um, cuts out, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, my, my, my camera's acting funny. But anyways, I, I'm going to do a read for Sagittarius here for the last week of March 2022. I've got 29 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see what we have. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the uh, notification bell so you are so you can become aware of when I, I next upload. Um, I, I'm eternally grateful if you do. So, what are the messages? I've already meditated and pre-shuffled prior. So, ooh, okay, so I don't even have to do anything. Here it is. There's a celebration, maybe. There's a, a gift coming in. A gift from the divine. It's an offer or uh, a gift of some sort. It's This is tangible. This is nice. Somebody's going to be celebrating here. Mm, bottom of the deck, two of wands in reverse. Could be a sudden departure, sudden arrival. Yeah. Somebody's stuck. They don't know what to do. So we have the Three of Cups. Could be a third party. Oh, it could be an engagement. Friend group. We have the Three of Cups in the upright. Ace of uh, Pentacles in the upright. The Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Light Life, and Sign of Sagittarius last week in March. Thank you. Ooh. What the heck is this? Somebody picked the wrong person. There's a separation here. Maybe somebody paid somebody to separate with somebody. Lovers in reverse, right? Poor decisions. Poor judgment. There's one side of relationship based on sex or lust, not love. It doesn't necessarily have to be love or uh, really, uh, romance. It could be a friend group. I, I don't know. Bottom of the deck, there's an apology maybe. It could be a child. Um, the lovers in reverse, please. The son of Sagittarius last week of March. Thank you. Somebody paid somebody um, to separate with a Queen of Pentacles here. Doesn't have to be. I don't go by the signs and I don't go by the genders. It's just the energies that anybody could be. Um, whatever sign we have them in our chart and gender doesn't matter because it's again it's the energy that we're uh, embodying. So it could be a spouse. It could be um, the Queen of Pentacles represents somebody who knows her value, her worth. I say her, but it's, it's keeping it straight in my head. They know their value. They know their worth. They're very hard workers, and they're very abundant and independent. Bottom of the deck, somebody let go and gave up. Nine of Wands in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the upright, please. Why is she here? Clarify for the Sun Sag. Last week of March 2022, please. Almost. Queen of Pentacles in the upright, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors of White Light. Please clarify. Thank you. Ooh, she also is very beautiful and sexy and confident. She's got a lot of power. She goes her own way. Very independent. Or you got paid to break up with her for her. There we go. Oh, three queens in a row. <laughs> he was paying. For these women, he you know what, would have a harem or something. The Queen of Cups in the upright. This one's loving and nurturing and intuitive. But her cup's closed. See that? She's got a lid on that. <laughs> she might seem loving and nurturing, but no, 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 no. Three queens like this uh, means drama. Lots of drama. Bottom of the deck on faithfulness. This guy's got, guy or girl, has got nothing to offer. No firm foundation. Can't rely on this person. They've been stopped. Stagnant, stale. Yeah, not going anywhere. If you're in a relationship with somebody that has other women or even men, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. If you think you're going to be the winner, you're not. You're a loser if you know he or she is with somebody else and you still decide to stay with them. I'm sorry to be so crude in the way I say it, but... Mm. Just hurting yourself, setting yourself up for failure. Page of cups. Somebody's very immature. Truth is out. <laughs> Hermit reverse. Sagittarius. Last week of March, 2022, please. You gotta pay these women off to get rid of them. There's a third party situation. Or oh, he pays for their parties. That's what it is. Um, yeah, it's family setting. What the heck? Is somebody's apologizing to a family, a group? It's an ending, is it 10? So 10 means completion. The cycle's complete. So it's very, very immature here. There's a breakup. 
Hmm, people don't see eye to eye any longer. They're not on the same page. Breaking up because somebody's in love. They found new love, true love. Or maybe it's self-love. They want happiness, right? Again, it's an ending. It's a 10. The cycle's ended. Ten of Cups in the upright. Why is this here? Please, Spirit, for the sign of Sagittarius last week of March 2022. Uh, something's coming to an end. This is a major, uh, major cycle ending. The world in the upright. The lessons have been learned here. Somebody wants success. They want happiness and success. They have to end something in order to do that, right? End the third party situations, affiliations, right? That they shouldn't be in because somebody's shone a light on it. And people are now knowing the truth or seeing the truth. He's got to put some effort in. Yeah, he or she. Why is the world in the upright here for the sign of Sagittarius? Last week of March 2022. Please, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Yeah. Okay, so somebody might be pregnant. Empress in reverse. Could have lost a child. I'm very sorry if that happened to you, Sag. My condolences. A miscarriage. Um, somebody didn't know their worth or their value, and they gave too much of themselves in a relationship. Obviously, if there's other people. Or they didn't give enough of themselves, right? They were promiscuous, and um, yeah, that kind of thing. Well, somebody wants to change their life now. They want to change it for the better. They're making a conscious decision to lay down these burdens. Give up on this stuff. Again, an ending. End these cycles, right? They keep repeating these stupid cycles and not learning. This time they did. They could have very well had a good, uh, the, a real empress on their hands, and they devalued the empress, bringing her into third parties. You did that, buddy. And there's a high price to pay for that. Why is the empress in reverse here for the sign of Sagittarius last week of March 2022? Please, thank you very much. Somebody wants a new beginning. Mm. Wants to wipe the slate clean. Somebody's doing some, um, digging up some information, possibly. Ooh, truth here. This could be an an investigator of sorts. It could be a police. It could be somebody from the courts. A professional finding the truth. Paying for the truth. King of Swords. They're very factual. They know the truth. When they make a decision, they stick to it. Yeah, just really quick communication come, quick action. There could be some hostilities. Knight of Swords in the upright, right? This Knight of Swords usually typically doesn't think first. Just acts on their impulses. Could have been speeding. Uh, King of Swords in the upright, please. Could have tried. <laughs> Somebody could have tried bribing a police officer. Or blackmailing a professional. Oh. Let's see. A fool. <laughs> Okay, somebody's feeling foolish. They want a new beginning. They're too afraid to take a leap of faith here. They're staying in a situation that's emotionally unfulfilling, uh, pretending they're happy. Either that or they're taking a leap of faith. They know the truth. They're going to speak the truth. They want to come back to a situation they were before. But no, that's just, they're going to get stuck in their head here or to... Maybe it's on purpose to get somebody stuck in their head so they can, they're out of money here. They could be going to jail for theft of money. They lost their stability and their security. Pull me up right here for the sign of Sag. Sagittarius, last week in March 2022. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Why is the fool here in the upright? We have the king, king of swords in the upright. Pull in the upright, please. Please. Yeah, King Cups in reverse. There's emotions. I say he because it could be anybody. Um, their emotions are everywhere right now. They're drinking and they're crying and blah, but only crying for themselves, obviously, because this this is an emotional manipulator. You can't believe everything that comes out of this guy's mouth when he's in the reverse. This way, oh, of course, a loving, compassionate, right, empathetic. This way, no, 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 no. He's emotionally unavailable. He likes to play people. He thinks people are fools. He thinks he's smarter than people. 
Um, where'd that get you? <laughs> People are letting go. Somebody's letting go of an attachment. And somebody's pissed. Because the Queen of Swords, she too is a professional. She knows the truth. She's been around. She's got wisdom, intuition. Wisdom. And, uh, I already said that. Sorry. <laughs> She's very, very intelligent. She could also be part of the, the police officer, the court. Somebody in a high position. Anyway, she's very discerning. She cuts through the truth with her knife, with her sword. She knows a bullshitter when she sees one. Can you cut some reverse, please? Thank you. He's waiting for something, this he or she. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. They did something and they're waiting to see if there's any effect. Waiting to see if they're going to get anything other than this one pinnacle out of the, out of this scheme or whatever they're doing. Right, bottom of the deck, out of this relationship. So this guy takes advantage of people in relationships, gets into relationships for gain, and then he thinks, okay, have I got as uh, as much as I I can get out of this person? On to the next, right? Could be also, yeah, very insincere, jump from bed to bed, knight of cups in reverse. He's going to be uh, getting arrested here, he or she. Swindler. Connors. There seems to be a lot of those around. These grown men, usually about 50 years old, in their 50s, right? Fucking old. Never worked a day in their life on some sort of uh, social insurance until they get kicked off because they swindled them and then they hit relationships, living off their, their wives or women's freaking <laughs> retirement plan or, you know, social security. Losers. There we go. Yeah. Somebody was giving and receiving other moving money around. Or maybe he's thinking, ah, he or she's thinking, I better right this wrong right now because I'm in trouble. Balance the scale, so to speak. Or he was giving and receiving with other people, placing others in front of whomever they were with, their significant others, and breadcrumbing them, right? Yeah, a lot of lies and secrets, moon in the upright in the bottom of the deck. A lot of illusions. Wow. Mistreatment, yeah. Thinking, uh, oh, it's not my money, but I have access to it. Let me, let me use it here and there. Give it to my other bitches, right? I'm sorry, I'm talking as if it's a man. It could be a woman. Six of Pentacles in the upright with the sign of Sagittarius. Last week of March, 2022. Yep, seeing through the illusions, devil in reverse, breaking free from this toxic situation. Balance is being brought back into the situation. <laughs> I can't make this up. Temperance Angel. Balance. Right? Temperance Angel's here to fix it all. Bring balance to a situation. You get what you give. This is compromise. This is temperance. This is the good Lord seeing what's going on and coming down and yeah, well, I can't make that up either. Seeing clarity. Good Lord, this also is a card for source. Ah, uh, there you go. You're getting arrested. Temperance in the upright, please. This is moderation. This is balance and healing. A lot of healing. Temperance in the upright for Sagittarius. The last week of March, 2022, please. There's heartbreak. Yeah, regrets. Wow. Somebody's in regret. I don't know if it's the person that did this that's heartbroken or they, they've left a lot of heartbreaks behind. Or maybe somebody's mixing drugs and alcohol and going to have a heart attack. That could be it too. Bottom of the deck, really, yeah, king of wands in reverse. I mean, it does, that does, it's a fire sign, it doesn't have to be. But whoever this is, he's a huge ego, very confrontational, argumentative. Yeah, very my way or the highway type of dude, player, energy. Um, stay away from them. Three of swords in the upright. Last card, please, for the sign of Sagittarius. There we go. This is ultimate betrayal. Ultimate betrayal. Ten swords in the back. It's over. The cycle's ended. Bottom of the deck. Someone's angry here. Whew. Just quick communication. Quick action being taken. Somebody can't move on any further. No, you can't move forward here. Your plans have not go are not going to work. Whatever plans and plots you've made, it's done now. So that's what we have.
I'm going to get uh, cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck for you, Sagittarius, for the last week of March 2022. What are your messages for Sagittarius? Last week of March 2022, please. <sighs> Hopefully we have some good messages for you, Sagittarius. Oh, clean it up in the reverse. Uh, that's number 21. In the tarot deck, 21 is um, judgment in the reverse, and that's not good. That's karma. So whoever has done this to you, if they've done it to you, Sagittarius, rest assured, karma's here. Judgment's been called. Uh, it's been brought up to the big guy's attention, and they've had a trial, and they've worked it out up there. They're just waiting for it to be worked out down here. So just hang tight. The way they work is beautiful. And since it's upside down, uh, I just read the protection message for you. Um, is it possible you may be fo focusing too much on other people right now, trying too hard to be helpful? Does taking on what belongs to others make you feel needed or desired? Perhaps you think it's your calling to, rel to relieve people of their burdens, but what is the cost to you and to them? Even if people get themselves in trouble, Sag, and you want to help them, sometimes you just got to take a step back because if you help them and you get in the way of their karma, you are accruing your own karma doing that. And you're slowing down your abundance. Um, don't clean up someone else's side of the street. You're not helping by freeing him or her of responsibility. They're not learning their lessons this way, right? You're also not doing yourself any favors and you just might be adding or even... Or even, sorry, Saj, and you just might be adding an even greater strain. You're loved as you are. You don't need to be needed to be loved. So putting on airs is not the way to go. Pretending you're someone you're not is not the way to go. Be authentic in yourself. Open your heart. Follow your heart. And those people around you, if they don't like you too bad, tough shit, but they're not your people, right? The ones that are your people will see your heart. And love you for who you are. And that is your tribe. So I hope that helps Sagittarius. Until next week, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.